Hey guys, welcome back to KY Fishing TV. Uh, we're actually going to be covering what we went over in the first video. The line came in for the Practicaster three foot long fly rod, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that. I've got the line on it, the backing and everything. So here's that so far. We've got just a small weighted, I guess it'd be like a nymph almost I really don't know what it represents to be honest with you but we've got the line on hit the backing and everything we went ahead and put two weight fly line on it got that on there but what I really wanted to talk about today is not just that so me and my fiance soon to be wife do a lot of traveling and we have a forerunner but hauling long you know six seven eight foot rods can sometimes get in the way if we're traveling to buy things because you can't lay anything on top of your rods because you risk breaking them and i looked into getting maybe one of the racks that goes on the top of it to put my rods in but most of those don't provide protection from rain and stuff like that so i believe i've come up with the perfect solution for that i got something i want to show you guys so we've already seen the three foot fly reel. It's handy, it's short. You can fit it just about anywhere. I mean, what better option than this for a compact fly reel and rod? But not only that, some people are not into fly fishing. They're more into spinning gear or bait casters or just normal fishing stuff. Well, I've got a solution for that also. This is an Abu Garcia Veritas ice fishing setup. It's a 28 inch rod. Um, it's short. I mean, there's no other way around that it's short. So I've got four pound test on it. I think it's monofilament. It might be fluorocarbon, but I think it's monofilament. Actually, I can tell you it's fluorocarbon. Excuse me, it's fluorocarbon. And that's the whole setup. So I've got a spinning reel and I've got a fly reel, all under three feet long. Now, with traveling with these, I love how they're so neat and small. You can actually just set them on your desk. But with that, from my good friend at Mahoney's, I have got a small fly box with just a couple of flies just that one then in there just small flies for bass bluegill crappie sunfish stuff like that and that will actually go with the fly rod now with the veritas with the market today of i guess you could call them micro lures there's a, a really big range of lures you can buy for micro fishing. I don't know what all these baits are intended for, but I know bass love them in the creeks that we're from here in Kentucky. So what I've put together is a Guggen box full of my favorite micro lures. And hopefully you guys can see this. If not, I'll actually get a better camera angle at it. But as you can see, I've just got a little box of lures to keep in the vehicle with that rod. And we'll go over a couple of these real quick. So for instance, you know, for your crankbaits, jerkbait styles, got the little Rapalas. 
just a little small one hook style it's like a jerk bait then you've got more of a crankbait style the little fat a bombers love these little baits and then from that you've got more of your top water poppers at those little guys they got one little single hook in the back and they are barbless because some of the rivers in Tennessee that we fish require you to use barbless hooks so we have a couple in here with that a couple different colors also then we've got some of the Guggen little small Guggen crankbaits love these little things they run so true and then we've got some little jigs you can find these anywhere any Walmart that you go in will have these then you've got more you know it's it's basically like a miniature setup that you have in your bass tackle box except micro so you've got you know your your craws and stuff like that you've got the small craws on a weighted jig head you've got your you know you got your lipless cranks like your mini rattle traps if y'all are rattle trap people I'm I've been a rattle trap person my entire life so I'm a big fan of those you know we've got the and we got those little ones I showed you at first we got those in a couple different colors just a wide variety like you would have in any bass box but micro so yeah with those two small rods those two small boxes the fly box and then the Guggen box my plan is to actually put some of these Walmart rod holders they just mount a lot of people mount them to milk crates and stuff like that to put in the back of their kayaks my plan is to actually mount these onto a milk crate I got two of them mount them onto a milk crate and set them in the back of the forerunner and put the two rods because I measured and the rods will stand up inside of the back of the forerunner so have two rods basically sitting like that and put the two boxes inside the milk crate along with just some random stuff that you might need like maybe a small net for the fly rod or things of that sort you know and keep that in there when we go traveling around and looking around at places that way if I see a spot that I would like to fish I have tackle to actually fish it without having to haul around all my big stuff because 90% of my rods aren't two-piece rods they're solid rods <clears throat> and they're just really aggravating to try to deal with when you're traveling with multiple people or buying stuff because we love to go around and just buy random stuff I don't know why maybe you all do but I don't but yeah, uh, the next video, we will actually be getting both of these rod and reels out and fishing with them some. You guys will get to see how they cast, how they perform. Spoiler alert, the little ice fishing rod actually casts as good as some of my 7 foot rods. I mean, it's crazy to see this little guy in action. And where the rod's so short, you can feel everything. I mean, every single thing. But that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. And also hop over to my TikTok and check me out there. The link is in the description. And until then, guys, have a good one.